The federal government has recently added to its focus the provision of accessible and affordable accommodation for all. The Bank of Industry has keyed into this vision to the benefit of companies like Amide Clay Industry. The result is that there's alternative to blocks when you want to build your house. Welcome to BOI Weekly. <laughs> The entrance to Amide Clay Industries at Olakuleke Village in Iwekoro local government area, Ogun State. Just as one steps in, a cottage made of their products, burned bricks. Moving even further, the process that leads to making the bricks is an elaborate and noisy one. Heaps of clay sourced from a quarry in the outskirt. It comes in lumps and is passed through the crusher, a semi-automated process. The first stage reduces the sizes and sends the material to the box feeder. The box feeder is a connection to the high-speed roller where further breakdown of the lump takes place. The reason why we have the box feeder there is you don't want to drop materials, um, big materials, directly into the high-speed roller. So that's why the box filler actually conveys it into the high-speed roller. And the importance of the high-speed roller is to smoothen the, the small chunks of material into fine material. As the lumps become grain, it moves to the mixer where water is poured in manually. Slowly but steadily, the mixed product moves to the extruder. That actually sucks the air. It's a pressure sensitive section which sucks out the air of the clay and molds it into the final form, which goes into the, uh, what we call the slasher, which molds the material into final greenware material. This is where the main craft of making the bricks, which at this point is called greenware, takes place. The machine has pretty much done its own part as the greenware is transported to a sheltered space for air drying. We stack our greenware in a particular way to allow easy ventilation of air through it. This process takes three weeks as opposed to electric drying. And that's actually where you use the heater and a fan to blow actual, uh, what you call artificial heat to, to the, into the, the bricks itself. And that takes about three days, so that definitely shortens the, the drying period. And, Helps so the what's situation. stopping you from doing that? Uh, we're actually in the process of constructing the air dryer. We're working on that right now. 
After the air drying, it's time for firing, handled with firewood. The green way at stock into the burning space, which is called Kion, and fires lighted. The burning so process takes three days. Um, we actually use firewood to, on the first day to initially burn just lightly, just lightly. Then after the second day, we now use a heavy dose of firewood, which brings heavy amount of heat onto the bricks. And a three days process for burning. After firing, the bricks are left for another five days for cooling. Then it's packed out. Stacked outside and ready for sale. With this process taking well over a month, Amida is working on a process which will be time effective. The 72 meter length burner. This is expected to be ready by the end of the year and burn continuously once it is started. What we use now is the old form of a firing kiln, but right now we have the Hoffman kiln that we are building. That has a capacity of about 25 million per annum fired bricks. And we're in the process of building that now, and we are hoping that uh, hopefully by before the air runs out, it should be in effect. Apart from the quantity, it's, it makes things much easier. You don't have, actually have too much involvement of people moving the materials and stuff like that. It's, like I said, it's a 24 hours process. So it, burning is going on 24 hours. So it becomes a process rather than you stopping. And so it becomes more of a process. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's of great importance. Each of the bricks costs 120 naira and about 30,000 is required to build an average two-bedroom flat. Today in Nigeria, bricks seems to be a preserve of the elite. Adeyinka thinks things should be different. We need to change our mindset as by using bricks. First of all, bricks is something from natural. It's, it's, uh, we're endowed with it naturally in Nigeria. So. Um, if we have clay surrounded around us, I think it's something we should actually use. It makes more sense instead of going actually to import cement, which makes, to me, I, I don't see the, I don't, I, I feel bricks are way more better. As people get more aware about it and it becomes more of a norm, then you see that the price will go down. Until, until then, until then, I guess that's why it's a rarity. So maybe that's why the prices are going up. Water is life. Its production creates employment. That's the story at number 22 Ogun Tolu Street in Ijae Ojokoro in Ogun State. The premises of SM23 Nigeria Limited. The managing director of SM23 Nigeria Limited, Nui Bat Egeyemi, is glad to have the crew of BOI Weekly and staff of Bank of Industry come and witness the proceeds of a relationship with BOI. The making of ultimate bottled water is in full gear, but first the making of the pet bottle. This takes place in the blowing room.
from the preform to the machine, work is going on smoothly with an average production of 1,500 bottles daily. We do make more than that because we have to provide for the following morning too so that there will not be delay in production. So we produce the one that we'll be able to use for that particular day and also produce more to start operations the, the following morning. At the corner of the blowing room, branding with the seal of ultimate water and NAFDEC approved stamp. Then it's off to the production room where water, which has been given much attention, is packaged. We have uh, two bowls that is a uh, that we made to the standard of NAFTA. So from the bowl, we get our water. That's the raw water and then we treat it. It passes through the water treatment plant, whereby it will filter the water, treat the water, and then passes through ozonator. There is a machine called, called ozonator. What it does is to remove any taste, any odor, any form of bacteria from the water. Before you start the process in the morning, you get a sample of the water that you want to fill into your bottle each day. You treat it, you test the pH, the pH level of the water, you calibrate, and then do the necessary things. So there, there and then you know that it is, it is fit for consumption, then before you now do the bottling. 1,500 bottles of water are produced daily under the best possible hygienic procedure, providing employment for 25 Nigerians. <laughs>